What up everybody? Well I've been getting numerous questions on how to pretty much hook up your mogul. So in this video I'm just going to show you how to do it. The basic stuff. Things that people have a lot of problems with such as the cube. So first off let me go ahead and cut on the mogul. As you can see, I have a different screen, test only, not for sale. That's because it's a leak beta of the new ROM that's not out yet. I got so much stuff on my phone, it takes a while to load up. <laughs> Alright, so basically, you got your touch theme, whatever, home, weather, tabs, and your music launcher. This down here is the ultimate launch cube, it's just a little cube. You can customize it however you want to and real quick just thought I'd show you the ROM version alright so basically your cubes gonna look like if I can get this kinda hard to hold the camera while I do this flips up as you can see my cube looks a little bit different from everybody else's it's cause I got the Windows Vista version I'll try to explain how to do that a little bit but not really so first once you download the cube it's gonna go right here let's go to programs open up file folder and you look for my documents now when you go down it should be in here somewhere at first it's, it's going to be as a zip file you have to unzip it and when you do that extract it to my documents then it comes to right here pretty much it'll tell you to install to a device or the storage I put mine on the device then after you do that you're gonna go up to program files from here you go down to touch flow and you're gonna click and that's gonna activate it Now after you do that, you can X out everything, go back to the main home screen, rotate up, and it should come up. Alright, back on the cube again. Some people had a question. Pretty much all you got to do for the audio manager is just install it, and it comes in right here automatically. As you can see, I got the custom skin, the Vista skin for the audio manager also now for the photos that's a little bit different you're gonna have to change the photos the directory that is so if you're trying to get the HTC look which is this right here you have to exit that real quick as you can see I love taking pictures of myself because I love myself not trying to be conceited or anything file programs cube settings alright 
and when you get the cube settings it's going to show you your basic options that's your app launcher up here now what you want to do is click on media hub now this is the app for your audio manager from the cube if you want to change it to windows media player you can just click on the little browse right here go to that or you can change it to peapot whatever you have whatever music you have used now for the photos HTC album windows the way you get to that is you click browse right here click on windows alright now you're just gonna scroll down and look for HTC album there it is e exe that's what you're looking for and you're gonna click use and after that it'll say something about reset or whatever and it'll come back up so you just do a soft reset which if you guys don't know what a soft reset is some people said they didn't basically and it's gonna be hard to do let me take out my basically you got your the USB port SD and that's your soft reset you take your stylus and stick in there so just do that and it should pop up right after you do that now what we're gonna do I'm going to show you the Windows Vista because people seem to not be able to figure out how to get everything for it I'm going to go to programs file folder and it's going to be in your my documents you just look for whatever it is as you're installing you got different things right here like say it's the poorly duck action screen which I already have it installed you just pretty much install it and then it'll be on there somewhere it'll be under programs for the action screen and let's see oh, I clicked the wrong thing hold on let's say you click on Poorly Ducks Vista Cube graphics. That's what most people are looking for, the graphics. All you do is install that and it does its own thing. The only thing that complicates for the calculator, you have to have this already. Not all. Oh, hold on. You have to have this. SPB Elf calculator. You can Google that junk find it once you've downloaded that you can get the skin from it it'll be on the, it's in the same file you take the skins or whatever for the calculator you go to windows and it's hard doing holding the camera and you drop it in your windows somewhere and now to activate the calculator and your calculator will look like this boom windows vista style pretty much the same thing i think with the com manager can't really remember because i did it a while ago Most people with questions I'm happy to answer. The ones that really don't know what they're doing at all. I only have so much patience, so unless you're dropping something in the PayPal, probably won't be very patient with you. And that's pretty much up with anybody. If somebody's in dropping money in my PayPal, of course I'll attend to them first and then try to get back with you. But anyways, thanks for watching. And I'm out.